Hi, I'm Steve Kerbalovic with Trailless Traveled, and today we're going to show you how to hook and unhook the Hensley Hitch. The first thing you got to do is put the stinger in the truck. The stinger is actually what attaches the truck to the Hensley Hitch. So let's go ahead and do that. It's basically the same thing as hooking up a regular receiver. So you see ours is a two inch drop. That's made specifically for our truck. When you actually order the Hensley Hitch, they will get you set up for your tow rig, the right stinger. And if you change a tow rig, they'll actually exchange that stinger for another one. One of the things that we've learned is when we're on an angle, this will want to shift around. And so we always take this bar and Stick it through here so then it holds that in place. You will have to take that out before you fully insert the stinger. So two things before we actually put the stinger in there, we want to make sure that it's at the right height that we're in line side to side. So you can see now that we brought the Hensley hitch up, we jacked the camper up to get this Hensley hitch up, now the stinger is able to actually go in there. One of the things we want to do before we actually put the stinger in there is put some lubrication on there. It really helps that seat up well in there and doesn't get hung up on anything. So now that we have the lubricant on the stinger, we can actually go ahead and insert that into the Hensley hip. So I'll back it up and get it in there. And then once we're in there, if you have somebody outside the vehicle, they can go ahead and pull this out of the way before you fully insert it. If not, then you gotta put it in park and come and pull that out. So this is a perfect example of where your height is not level and it's unable to actually get in there. So we need to make sure and push this down a little bit. Off. So now we're able to actually fully insert it. We still have about an inch there. Now that we have the stinger fully inserted into the Hensley hitch, we have to tighten down the over center latches. We want to make sure and insert the over center latch right here into this little notch and then we tighten this down. Okay, so this is too tight so you can back this off and actually screw this in. So then the other thing that can happen is when you insert it into the notch there, it can be too easy. That's not good either because that's not gonna secure the stinger inside the hitch. So you wanna make sure and extend it here you want this to be about the strength of clamping vice screws. There you go. These are the safety pins that secure the over center latches to the stinger. Now that we have the pins securing the over center latches to the stinger, we need to put our safety chains on and also the emergency brake cable. Next we need to hook the electrical from the camper up to the truck. Now we can move on to tightening the weight distribution bars that are attached to the Hensley hitch. Uh, it's a three quarter inch nut that is used to tighten the weight distribution bars on the Hensley hitch. <clears throat> so there, there are three different notches and the first one is gonna make it a little bit looser, not distribute the weight as much on the tow vehicle. The second will be a little bit more and it'll make the ride a little bit rougher. And then your third notch, it will make it ride really rough, but it will distribute the weight more onto the truck. So it just depends how stable you want it. I always do in between the first and second notch for our pickup. Now that we have the weight distribution bars fully tightened, we can actually take and lower the camper and the Hensley hitch fully onto the truck. There you go, we're fully hooked up to the Hensley hitch. Now you can do your final walk around the camper, removing your chocks from the wheels, and you're all set to go. Okay, now we're gonna move on to showing you how to unhook from the Hensley hitch. 
the first thing you want to make sure and do is have the parking brake on in your truck and then chalk your tires on your camper so then you can start the process of lifting the camper up so you can unhook from the Hensley hitch. We're going to get the leveling blocks underneath the jack and get going with that. So as we raise the camper up it takes pressure off of the weight distribution bars and then weight off the actual hitch. So now we have to take the weight off the distribution bars and for the Hensley hitch uh, it's a three quarter inch uh, socket and so you uh, put that on there and then you loosen it up. You can use a drill. A drill is super fast. That's normally what we use but today we'll use a wrench. So at this point we unhook the safety chains and also the emergency brake cable. The next thing in the process is to remove the pins for the over center latches uh, that hold them in place. Uh, this is a tool that actually unhooks the over center latches from the stinger. We want to make sure and actually reverse the vehicle and reset the parking brake before we do this because this is when that over center latch actually pinches your hand in between it and the hitch. So let's go ahead and do that. So the reasoning for that is the over center latches actually hold the stinger in place and if you don't have the stinger pushed into the Hensley hitch then that's when there becomes a lot of tension on those over center latches and it can swing open and then your truck will slide forward and actually that's when it pinches your hand in between, uh, in between the wrench and the Hensley hitch. So we've put the tension on the Hensley hitch with the stinger now so we're ready to actually unhook the over center latches from the stinger. As we're unhooking this we still want to make sure that our hand is not over here because that's when it actually comes and pinches that. Uh, even though we've taken the proper precautions to not have this happen I still would hate to see somebody get really hurt doing that. So we just want to make sure our hand is on this side of it. So since we have put in tension back on the Hensley hitch, it is super easy to actually undo it now. I start to worry <coughs> that I don't have enough tension released from it when this becomes very difficult to undo. If it still takes a lot of effort to undo this, what I would do is put your truck in reverse and push back into that hitch a little bit. See, like there's a little bit of tension in it. I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> it really did hurt. Yeah. So, the only reason we put an emphasis on that is because both of us have actually experienced that, where it actually comes back and it pinches your hand here it just really hurts so please don't do that so at this point we're ready to remove the stinger from the actual hitch and how you do that is driving the pickup forward now that we've removed the stinger from the Hensley hitch you can continue with the setup process of your camper one of the things that I always do with the stinger is remove it from the truck because it does stick out so far I want to thank you for watching this video. I really do hope it gave you a lot of good information. And if you know somebody that's thinking of getting the Hensley Hitch, make sure and send this video to them. If you like this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure and subscribe to our channel. So thank you for watching this video. I'm Steve with Trail S Travel. We'll see you on the trail.